wealth and riches exists in this household of faith and if you can get in agreement with it it will exist with you the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstraut. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you Jesus subscribe. Right. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Well, not everyone is going to get what I talk about tonight because there's a price that you have to pay to get in, and the price for admission is ears to hear. And if you have ears to hear then things will be said to you this evening that will take you someplace you've never been before psalms 112 verse 1 it says blessed is the man that fears the lord now we know the word fear here is often translated many other places worship so we can say blessed is the man that worships the lord right. say blessed, blessed is the man, the man. that worships the lord worship did he say cursed no. no he said blessed so if you can learn to worship the Lord you will be blessed right because mm -hmm. blessed is the man that worships the Lord Amen. are you here yes. in Acts chapter 13 verse 2 you had some prophets and teachers there and it said as they worshiped the Lord mm -hmm. and fasted the Holy Ghost said and I went on at length about this particularly last week that the Lord that they were worshiping had to be the Holy Ghost because the Holy Ghost said as they were worshiping him mm -hmm. he said separate me yeah. for the work wherein to I have called them yeah. the Holy Ghost talking about the Holy Ghost it was talking about the Holy Ghost it was talking about the Holy Ghost are you here mm -hmm. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost if you can learn to worship the Lord the Holy Ghost you will be blessed blessed is the man that fears the Lord that worships the Lord in 2nd Corinthians 3 17 we won't turn there because I'm gonna read more of this psalm it says now the Lord is that spirit now in our day the day that the Apostle Paul wrote that verse of Scripture he said now the Lord is that spirit spirit jesus never turned into the holy ghost i'm sorry the holy ghost is god in the earth today and he's the one that we walk with mm -hmm. and we walk with him by saying words and some of those words you should say are i worship you holy ghost psalms 112 again blessed is the man that worships the lord that delights greatly in his commandments his seed shall be mighty where in the earth. upon the earth doesn't that make sense mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today if you worship him your seed will be mighty upon the earth that means you'll be mighty on the earth why because you're with him and he's with you most Christians read his his seed shall be mighty when they die and go to heaven mm -hmm. no she shall be mighty upon the earth the generation of the upright shall be blessed say blessed. blessed get used to it say I'm blessed, I'm blessed. say I'm blessed all, the time. blessed all the time I'm blessed coming in I'm blessed, coming I'm blessed, going, out. I'm blessed, I'm blessed going out and I'm blessed coming back in, coming back in. that's all the time Amen. either coming or going mm -hmm. verse 3 wealth and riches shall be in his house Yes. wealth and riches shall be in his house say wealth, wealth. And, riches and riches shall be, shall be. In, my in my house right yes who's this to uh, the one who has learned to worship the lord now the lord is the holy ghost that spirit we've learned to worship him and we're blessed and we're on the earth and wealth and riches shall be in our house why in our house because he's in our house right. what no you not your body is the temple of the holy ghost mm -hmm. 
if you're in your house he's in your house we also have a household that we're in wealth and riches shall be in our household can you understand that yes galatians 6 10 it says the household of faith mm -hmm. say the household of faith the household now part of this verse that we just read here is the the man who fears the Lord or worships the Lord wouldn't fearing and worshiping the Lord be part of his faith mm -hmm. part of the way he believes part of his religion the way he does things say the way he does things because we saw that's how he was doing things and now on the earth he was blessed and wealth and riches was in his house in his household it exists listen wealth and riches exists in this household of faith and if you can get in agreement with it it will exist with you well I have a household of faith people all over the earth now who are beginning to worship the Holy Ghost who never did before mm -hmm. and they're entering into this household of faith say this, this. Household, household of faith it's a different faith as in it's a different way of believing it's a different way of living is this different yes. that's different i told you this is for people who have ears to hear mm -hmm. people who know that the holy ghost is god in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words that's the household i'm talking about that's the household of faith that you're in mm -hmm. I'm now a worshiper of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. yes. if you stay with us long enough you'll come to the conclusion that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today that's a faith that's a household of faith that you're believing differently does this make sense yes. don't you think God will go and inhabit a house that he's worshiped in that's the household of faith he's it listen he says i'm in that household of faith he's in that house first corinthians 6 19 what know you not your body is the temple of the holy ghost most people would have no idea although they just think yes the temple of the holy ghost that means the spirit of god the, you know the force of god the the wind of god those kind of things the anointing but when you say he's a person and you worship him because he's god that's where they check out well you don't worship an anointing i'm not worshiping an anointing i'm worshiping god and I'm blessed because of it Galatians chapter 6 verse 10 as we have therefore opportunity let us do good unto all men especially unto them who are of the household of faith say the household of faith, the household of faith. well we have a household of faith I hope you're getting this you're not alone you're in a household of faith of other people of like-minded believers who worship the living God would you be all right with that if I said people who worship the living God mm -hmm. say I'm part of those, I'm part of those. Who, worship who worship the living God the living who is the living God oh, yeah. the Holy Ghost is the living God that's the household of faith that you're in if you worship the Holy Ghost you are in this house this household of faith this household that believes the Holy Ghost is God and you walk with him by saying words is that faith is that a faith yes and it's a household of faith that frankly believes something that a lot of people don't believe that's how you get in this house say that's how I got in, in. you got in by worshiping the Holy Ghost are you here yes. and it's a big house it's an enormous house there's faith in these words people will believe these words and then they will come in to worshiping the Holy Ghost 
how do you think you got here <laughs> we heard words and we began to do them mm -hmm. right yes. blessed is the man that worships the Lord I hope you're still here we this household of faith when I'm saying we this household of faith are fulfilling end time prophecies wealth and riches shall be in this house are you hearing it I'm calling for it Holy Ghost worship calls for it and I, I've been around a while people will interpret scriptures and try to put them up with end time events and sometimes they're right and sometimes they're wrong and you know I I get it about people what I'm saying is that people ask me about it a lot I get this well what do you think about this what do you think about that well there's a bunch of interpretations about everything with the end time prophecy this means this that means that Daniel and Revelation and this and all of this other stuff are you here mm -hmm. but that's not my bag of tea I'm fulfilling end time prophecy did you hear that I'm fulfilling end time prophecy I'm a doer of end time prophecy they can talk about me is this gonna irritate people sure second Kings chapter 2 and it came to pass when the Lord would take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal and Elijah said unto Elisha tarry here for the Lord hath sent me to Bethel and Elisha said unto him as the Lord lives and as thy soul lives I will not leave thee and so they went down to Bethel verse 3 and the sons of the prophets that were at Bethel came forth to Elisha and said unto him knowest thou not that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today and he said unto them yeah I know it hold your peace they had this revelation that this was gonna happen to Elijah and Elisha they had a revelation and what did Elisha say yeah I know like he didn't know who who was fulfilling the scripture he was fulfilling the scripture and everybody else was bystanding saying this is gonna happen this is gonna happen and what did Elisha say Elisha said <laughs> we're fulfilling end time scripture I've got news for you I am a doer of end time scripture say I'm a doer, I'm a doer. of end time scripture. end time scripture they can write about you Haggai chapter 2 verse 7 and I will shake all nations and the desire of all nations shall come and I will fill this house say this house this, house this household this household of faith I will fill who's the I you suppose here it's got to be the Holy Ghost he will fill this house with glory saith the Lord of hosts verse 8 the silver is mine the gold is mine saith the Lord of hosts the glory of this latter house shall be greater than the former saith the Lord of hosts and in this place will I give peace wealth and riches shall be in my house in this household of faith which is one that acknowledges that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth and we walk with him mm -hmm. are you here what about fulfilling that verse of scripture what's it going to take to fulfill that verse of scripture you walking with God in the earth first Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living God who is the living God Holy Ghost who gives us richly all things to enjoy living God gives us richly all things to enjoy the glory of this latter house being greater than the former we're fulfilling that end time scripture why 
he is why wealth and prosperity is a big deal to him it's always been a big deal to him it hasn't been a big deal to you and your religious thinking but it's been a big deal to him well in my house my household of faith people who worship the Holy Ghost and walk with him in the earth by speaking in agreement my household of faith our wealth and riches shall be wealth and riches shall be and the same anointing that's on me for wealth and riches shall be shall be on those who are in this household of faith now is it possible to be so blessed say so blessed. so blessed is it possible to be so blessed that God the Holy Ghost makes even your enemies to be at peace with you is that possible well it's a scripture and it's a promise coming from the promise the Holy Ghost Proverbs chapter 16 verse 7 when a man's ways please the Lord do you suppose worship please the Lord do you suppose faith pleases the Lord yeah faith is speaking in agreement with God the Holy Ghost worship pleases God the Holy Ghost when a man's ways please the Lord what if I don't what if I don't speak in agreement with God the Holy Ghost what if I don't worship God the Holy Ghost what about that does that please him that much he may be mildly amused but he's not pleased are you here yes. when a man's ways please the Lord he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him is it possible to be so blessed that even your enemies are at peace with you yes. straight up it's a fact it's a Bible fact mm -hmm. where are we going in fact in first kings 5 4 it says solomon had peace and rest on every side mm -hmm. wealth and riches shall be in my house wealth and riches shall be in my house i speak it every single day and when i say my house i'm saying you this household of faith that i'm in wealth and riches shall be in it are you in it well there are things that we believe in this household of faith you all right with that when i say household of faith it's a household of faith it's a way we believe that's different than a lot of other people a lot of things are similar but a lot of things are just it's just different well there's a lot of things that we believe in this household of faith prosperity we believe in prosperity healing and health do we believe in that yeah for every sickness and every disease there's not a single one that's left out of it God heals every sickness and every disease and we believe for it. why because it comes from him he's the Holy Ghost he lives in divine healing and health yes. he is divine healing and health mm -hmm. what about prosperity he is supernatural prosperity yes. how about youth renewal yes, yes youth renewal things we believe for here in this household of faith wealth and riches shall be in this house Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 22 the blessing of who the Lord. the Lord the Holy Ghost the blessing of the Holy Ghost it makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it say so he adds no sorrow with it how many sorrows is that well that's zero right zero sorrows that's what you want you want to be made rich and have the sorrows not added and removed get in agreement with it get in agreement with me says the Spirit of the Lord and you shall have these things come quickly to pass the problem has been your mouth not being in agreement and as you begin to agree he will rise up in you and around you things will never be the same 
the blessing of him makes rich and adds no sorrow no sorrow i like to say it that way i say no sorrow try that say no, no. no. sorrow made rich no sorrow mm -hmm. so many of the promises of god are flat out open-ended unqualified no sorrow what, what what could some sorrows be sickness would be a sorrow right problems would be a sorrow mm -hmm. problems you didn't overcome would be a sorrow the reason is is it's him and the blessing is up to and including all of himself in full manifestation in your life mm -hmm. that's no sorrow no room for sorrow things we believe for here in this household of faith and you need to get an agreement with it get in agreement with me and get in agreement with all of those other people that are in this household of faith do you understand mm -hmm. and by agreement i mean saying that saying the same thing wealth and riches shall be in my house psalms 107 and verse 20 he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions say he sent his word, he sent his word. And, healed and healed me and delivered me, he delivered me. from my destructions. my destructions what destructions again not qualified open-ended mm -hmm. all destructions could old age be a destruction sure. people are destroyed from a lack of knowledge mm -hmm. knowledge of what knowledge of him mm -hmm. could poverty be a destruction mm -hmm. could age-related issues be a destruction yes. mm -hmm. you name it that's if it's a destruction he delivered you from it who did he did by sending his word so we got to get in agreement with his word right yep. get in agreement in this house we're in agreement with the Holy Ghost in this house of faith we're in agreement with the Holy Ghost meaning we say the same thing he says say I say, I say. the same thing, the same thing he, says. he says we worship him and say the same thing he says we're in this house mm -hmm. wealth and riches are here healing and youth renewal are here it's part of what's in this house when you worship the Holy Ghost there is prosperity and healing and youth renewal and deliverance from all destructions Amen. it's in the house where do you get it in the house listen if you worship him he can't not help you it is who he is jesus literally said i will send another the comforter the comforter literally means helper he is the helper and if you worship him he can't not help you it's who he is mm -hmm. worshiping the holy ghost by using words i worship you holy ghost i worship you holy ghost these words call for him to manifest himself as God in your life these words call for something new and we are called to go into the spirit and eventually not come out mm -hmm. I'm called to take you there if you can hear I've been there many times and there is a new man of us manifestation of the spirit awaiting you as you worship him i am a fulfiller of end time prophecy you are a fulfiller of end time prophecy why do you think you're here why do you think you're in the earth today you know i've often asked god well why why are you giving me this message i've said it you've heard me say it before why me <laughs> And I've heard him say because they would not go here some of them will just talk about it have you been talked about before some of them will just talk about it but we will go there let them talk let them be the ones standing on the other side of the river saying did you not know and we're like slow clap yes we know I am a doer of what they talk about 
can you hear that I'm a doer of what they talk about and it's bigger than me I never get up here and tell you things that I thought up and dreamed up I'm not telling you that it's bigger than me it's his house I have some things to say in a second it's his house that I'm speaking of if I do my job well I'm saying his words mm -hmm. listen this is my house my household get that straight it's my household of faith and those that worship me they will enter in and I will take care of them we enter into his house his household of faith believing the way he believes saying the things he says that's the end result of saying the same thing he says you understand that right mm -hmm. say wealth, wealth and, riches and riches shall be, shall be in, my in my house did you make that up are those your words you're trying to be fancy fancy boy I don't think so I'm saying his words and I'm a fulfiller of end time prophecy are you getting this yes. thank you Holy Ghost for manifesting yourself in these people today that they could hear the word of the Lord say to them rise up I say and be strong in me this very day and I shall show you a new way and things shall fall far from you things you'll forget about that you ever had a problem with because these are the days and the hours rise up strong in me we worship you Holy Ghost we thank you Holy Ghost that you're doing those things even right now in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I, worship I worship you you are God in the earth today you said blessed is the man that fears you well I worship you and I am blessed wealth and riches shall be in my house I give you all the glory and praise in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God